Jeff Gustafson, or Gussie, as uh, as you're more commonly known. Uh, I mean, dude, you've been you've been catching some good fish this week, and you're doing it a little differently than most of the field. Kind of tell us about it. Yeah, I'm just beating the bank, man, and uh, throwing a top water. I feel like I'm fishing back home on Rainy Lake, <laughs> actually. Uh, and and I, I think I caught I caught one good one on a swim jig the first day, and I caught one on a uh, on a worm yesterday. And, okay. And, I think all of them came on. A, I got one on a on a wacky rig today, so I've sort of got like one fish. You know, I mix it up a little bit, but but mostly I'm just beating the bank with the top water, and uh, and it's random. That's the scary part of it. I went back to too much stuff today that I've already fished and, and caught them, and I don't think it, stuff's really replenishing. I got one little area that I've caught. I caught a couple of good ones yesterday, okay. and I caught a good one there today and lost a good one. So. Uh, you know, I'll definitely make a tour through there tomorrow. But the last hour, I went and fished some totally new stuff, and I caught a, a good one and and uh, and another decent keeper. So that was I should have been doing that a lot <laughs> earlier in the day. So really, it's kind of like because we've seen with the brush pile guys, uh, it's a numbers game. Hit as many as you can. Yeah. Put your bait in front of enough fish. It's kind of the same principle with those grass fish, right? Yeah, it is. I'm hunting them down, and and I mean, I've caught a couple off brush piles that I you know that are that I found mm -hmm. just in shallow water. Uh, a couple off laydowns, a couple off some docks, and just, just you know, cast it, whatever looks good. And then I'm pulling into stretches that, that don't look good. There's no docks, there's nothing, just sand or whatever. And in some of those places, probably no one's fished them. Right. And, and, I, and I can go catch a fish off one, off, you know, every day I've caught a few off, just stuff like that. And that's a great point, unpressured fish, because these guys doing that kind of offshore deal, I mean, there's, their water's been getting hammered, not only by the competition, but by local anglers yeah. as well. Are you seeing any, many other boats just out fishing up there? You know, the first two days of the tournament, I didn't really have another tournament boat even fish anywhere wow. that I wanted to. So that was really good. But it's funny today, there was a lot more locals out there, and a lot of more, a lot more of the locals were kind of floating sure, around sure. on stuff. And, uh, and there was just a lot more boat wakes and it was rougher the, and, and the water was a lot sort of dirtier too. I, mm -hmm. I don't know if that hurt things a little bit or not because the areas that I've been catching them in, it's been pretty clear. And, okay. And you know, I, don't, it, I come back up north, the first day I came back up north a couple hours early and fished up here and I never even had a bite doing what oh, I was wow. doing. So I, you know, but I think, you know, majority of the top 10 guys are fishing down south. Yep. And uh, so, you know, probably something to the water, clear water down there. All right, last thing I'll leave you with is uh, the top water thing. Is, is there a bite window with that? Or do you find, I mean, like you said today, you caught some fish late in the day. Yeah, no, I mean, I go out in the morning, expect race out there and expect to like, <laughs> you know, crack them first thing in the, in the morning. Um, and my mornings have been mediocre. You know, I've got one or two good ones early every yep. day, but, uh, but I've caught fish throughout the day and it's just, it's, it's random and it's, and it's, you know, I'm not catching a ton of fish sure. or anything. I'm not, you know, it's not like I'm burning them up. And today was a lot tougher. I think I only caught six or seven keepers. So, wow. Uh, but I mean, I'm committed to it now and, and the bites you get are, are decent. I mean, I, I've caught only a couple short fish doing what I'm doing. So you and go it, out deep and you catch a lot of, right. you know, I drifted out today for a bit just to try to fill my limit up late in the morning. I think I caught six or seven, like 13 and a half, 13 three quarter inches that aren't helping me, you know, right, they don't keepers. Do and I'm yep. thinking to myself, like, what am I doing? I gotta go just stick to the program. I'll get my bites. And I, and I barely did today. I had one big one that I lost and it's the first fish I've lost all weekend. And that, that one hurt because I would have been in that, you know, really hanging in there with yep. that one. But I think, uh, you know, I go, go for it tomorrow and, and swing, swing at it and see what happens. Well, man, you're around the right size fish. You're committed and you're in a top 10. Good luck to you, man. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>